Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip, I'm going to show you how you can use perler bead patterns, specifically the ones from this book here, Bead It, Iron It, Love It, and how to use those patterns for making polymer clay canes. Now, just a little while ago, um, a publishing company sent me a stack of craft books for, the, for me to review, and in the set was this book here. And as I started flipping through it, the first thing that came to mind was polymer clay canes. So what this book is about is actually it's designed for making, um, for using with perler beads. And now if you have no idea what a perler bead is, it's these little plastic beads that um, kids will often use. Um, there's several companies that make them. There's perler, hammer, Hama and some other kinds of and beads they're fusible beads so you use these beads in a set pattern on a board like this so you put your little um your little beads in the right pattern on your board just like i did with this um i made a snowflake from the book actually and then what you do is you put um, a piece of parchment paper over top then you iron it and the heat will fuse those beads together into a, uh, an ornament of sorts. So you can use this for a Christmas ornament, for a backpack charm, um, coasters, uh, fridge magnets, that kind of thing. Kids love to make them and they're really fun to do. But because the patterns are done in a grid, you can make some really, really cute polymer clay canes with the patterns. Now here's one that I actually made with one of the emoji patterns in there in the book. And I'll just show you um, the different patterns that are in here. Now this book has uh, 300 patterns in it, a few instructions and a couple of projects in it but it's mostly about the patterns themselves. So as you get in here, there's tons and tons of patterns done in a little grid style. Now, um, there are seasons and animals and all kinds of neat things, flowers, weather, sports. Some of these patterns are absolutely adorable. Look at this pair, isn't he the cutest thing ever? Um, and there's like fruit and pineapples and sea creatures, animals. Look at that moose. He's just the cutest thing ever. Um, all kinds of patterns in here. In fact, they'll make you want to start making stuff right away. And there's alphabets, but here's the whole page of emoticons. And this is the little guy that I made right there. And you can see he's the same little guy. Now the neat way, the neat thing about how these patterns are set up, first of all, they have the pattern here and the grid and how you would count everything out. But they also have, alongside of it, they have the colors that you would need um, minus the background. Um, some patterns, if you're gonna try to convert them into polymer clay, you may need to put the background in. But here in this case here, if you were gonna make this little emoji, you'd need 88 yellow, uh, 22 white, 27 black, and 46 orange, plus because his hair sticks out and you can't really, it, I mean, you could remove the hair, I suppose, but if you wanted to keep the hair, you'd also have to put in the background and you'd have to count out this, the pieces that you would need for that. So it's really well, perfectly suited for making polymer clay canes. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole process too far. Um, I actually have a tutorial, um, a paid tutorial called the Christmas Sweater Cane, where I do this exact same idea, um, doing a pixelated pattern. And there's lots of tips and tricks to doing it to make it easy. Um, because uh, even though it's a simple concept, there are some things to it that can make it a little tricky, especially when you do something as detailed as this. But working on this little guy, I'll kind of give you the, the rundown how something like this was done. Now, um, I decided to go with a square extrusion that I extruded from my, um, from my extruder. I used 
the disc that has now this is from the Lucy Clay set now Lucy Clay tools um, does um, all kinds of different extruder discs here's one here this is the number nine um, disc this particular one is from disc number two and it has three small squares it's a nice size because um, when you extrude it out it, it's a reasonable size some of the other um, extruders um, have a larger square and if I was to make uh, this cane out of that larger square we'd end up with something really quite large um, but this one is very suited for it and the nice thing about the Lucy Clay discs is they'll also fit in well they'll fit in the Lucy Clay extruder which I'll, I'll show you here you just pop it into the end I have some clay in there already and you screw it onto the end but they'll also fit into um, the Walnut Hollow and the um, Macon's extruders. So you can use those if you wanted to get that uh, particular disc set as well. But I'm just going to extrude out a little snake so that for those of you who have never seen this process before, you can see how it's done. So you would extrude out miles and miles of clay. You would cut it off into lengths. Now you never want to go shorter than about an inch and a half in length, otherwise you're going to have, um, it's going to be too difficult to, um, to reduce it, especially if it's a large cane. So you'd want your snakes to be at least a, an inch and a half long. Um, and then you would need the numbers that were in the pattern. So on the um, emoji pattern, you know, you've got whatever, here they've got them laid out here too you would need uh, you know like 93 of the yellow and 40 of the orange and six of the white and 38 of the black and then you just lay them out into the pattern um, and go across each row until you have your design and it turns out very very cute now you, of course I could reduce this right down into something quite small um, and I'll do that at another time but this pattern book, you know, I, I don't really do perler beads, but uh, uh, my kids and their friends saw some of the patterns and thought they would be really fun to do. Um, but whether you're into the perler beads or if you're into polymer clay caning, this is a really, really fun, um, happy book with lots of neat patterns that can easily be converted um, into polymer clay canes. Now, another quick note some of these canes for example here are quite large especially when you add in the background so in order to not have to order you know a, a truckload of clay you can actually um, extrude even tinier snakes whoops <laughs> you can throw the disc cap right across the room you can do little tiny um, extrusions like i did on this cane here actually and even if they're round, um, they will end up reducing quite square. So um, you can even use a small round cane if you like. And then one other quick note is there's some neat patterns in the back here that are for um, octagonal shapes or hexagons, I mean, sorry. Um, and the way a hexagon pattern works, if you were to use a hexagon disc, there are some in like the, um, the different extruders have the uh, hexagon disc. You would put in the rows, they would be, instead of being squares and straight on top of each other, they're set offset slightly. And it, you would need, in order to do any of these hexagon patterns, you would need a hexagon shaped disc in order for all the pieces to fit together or possibly a round one if you wanted to do it that way and just make sure your rows were offset. But this book really has some wonderful geometric and abstract projects as well as all of the cute things. So I thought you would enjoy that. It's a different way of looking at one of these pattern books. And I hope that you go check it out. All right. So I, ho I, do, ho whoops. I do hope you like this video. And if you did, let us know. And if you've got... Um, a product you'd like me to test, a technique you don't know anything about, a book you'd like me to review even, um, leave those suggestions in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out um, 
all of the past vid videos we've done. We've done hundreds and hundreds of videos and there's probably the answer to your polymer clay question in one of those videos. All right, so we'll see you next time and bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.